Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down. I'm sitting here looking like I'm straight off a boat. No makeup. Well, I'll be all right. My chin hair ain't not today. Uh, I'm here with my <laughs> buddy, Chris, Hello. and my good friend, Dion. Sup, y'all. On the Pat Down with no makeup on and my wig. There is a wig. It it looks like you have a the way that the zoom is set, it looks like a Charlie Chaplin hat with <laughs> black string. <laughs> I'm gonna get so old I can't even motherfucking twist my neck no more. I don't got this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stay tuned after the new the uh song so I can take my vertical man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm over here over uh, overworked like a motherfucker, but I'm blessed. Give me a a baby a, a wipe out of that white box right now. You can't tell where the hat stops and the wig starts. <laughs> <laughs> it blends in so perfect. It's all one thing. In the white box, yeah. Damn it, just looking at white box right now. <laughs> Especially in the back, <laughs> there's not much light, so it does. It looks like yeah. okay. <laughs> a little bob. I got. I just threw on my head. And um, you know, I like to do this podcast with no makeup because I ain't like everybody else. I don't have time to be snapping on. If I'm gonna put on some, just get the white box, the white fucking box, right there, the white goddamn box. I'm right here. Come on, stop y'all. <laughs> what if you don't know white when you see it? I'm sorry, y'all. Huh? Damn, these kids ain't what for shit. They don't see color. <laughs> Got some <laughs> progressive children over there. <laughs> I look like it's black, so I'm trying to wipe it. I'm sorry, you make, y'all. What are you, you makeup on? And Garrett having more army dreams? What's going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> that so it funny. does look like your eye's black. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but ain't no dirt coming off. Maybe it's just a shadow. I think it's a shadow from the hat. It is. Yeah. Yeah, you fine. I'm just getting old. These bitches got bags up on their eyes. Do you do you have like the uh the the cooling th- little things? They apparently work. They do work. I have a lot of them. I put them on before my makeup. You know, doing the, like the day gear was like, you need to put on the bra. I said, boy, he said we're going to look for granted for the house. And I'm like, why can't I just go like this? I ain't have on a wig, I have on a bra. Uh, what was we at? We was um we was in the store the other day. And uh, I ain't have on no bra, but I did have on my wig. So we, I just ran out to get some. And this lady say, are you Miss Pat? I said, yeah, but gone with that bullshit. I ain't got <laughs> <on> no bra. <laughs> Don't ask for a picture. <laughs> I was gone with that bullshit. I said, I'm going to keep real. Not today. I ain't got no goddamn bra. And I ain't got no shirt that can look like I got on no bra. See, so when... I'm just let my titties hang, and I just ran in here to get something. So when I you're in Indiana, you can walk walk around like like Batman or, or Bruce Wayne. You know, you walk into the Walmart like that, and you nobody notice you. Now you're you're famous enough, especially in Atlanta with the radio show, that you you've lost your superpower. Yeah, I lost my superpower. Power, not fucking dressing up. This is this is my comfort zone. You know, I know a lot of people get on Instagram, and so they all made up. I don't know how them bitches put on makeup like that every day. I can't do it. You have to wear it so often that it must be a relief when you don't. It is a relief when I don't. I it's I'm gonna go ahead and day and wash my pussy upside down. I'm gonna put my face cream on and I'm gonna get in my It needs that much red. washing. <laughs> I can see that. It's Today so is dirty she's day. gotta wash it upside down. <laughs> Today is not a good day. So I go out to eat with Nike today, right? Oh boy. And uh <laughs> Was this third or fourth lunch? <laughs> you have food from him on your shirt? Uh, oh, probably so. So we go out to eat and uh uh we went to uh Texas Roll House and the lady said, How you want your steak? Uh he said, uh uh Garrett, yes. how did Nakia say he wanted steak? He said, he the lady said, How you want your steak? He said, medium raw. <laughs> How many rolls did he eat? <laughs> and they said, huh? We say, 
<laughs> he don't know no better. <laughs> 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 Not Who the fuck order they steak medium raw? <laughs> Who the fuck can make a steak medium raw? Right. <laughs> you gotta eat the cow eyes still burning for the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. I was a kid, he might have some good dick. I don't know how you stay with this big old <laughs> fat black Donna with the little BBL in the back of his head from the little mohawk. <laughs> oh, his haircut is hideous. His, He's got a mohawk? He said he got a BBL in the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> he got a mohawk, right? But it done thin out in the front. Now, <laughs> kill. You look like, what's that thing with that, uh, what's that thing with that horn on top of his head? With the ivory, not the ivory, that's a, that's a rhino. A, yeah, he like a rhino. But somebody <laughs> broke off the ivory off his head. I said, not nah, here. Your mohawk ain't mohawking in the front. It's leaping. That motherfucker's so short. It's like it's like his mohawk. He got the type of mohawk look like he need to take off. So oh, and then as you go up the hill, it get bigger. I said, this ain't no mohawk not like here when you missing the front of your mohawk. Is he LeBron in the front, party in the back? <laughs> no, he ain't even. I'm saying that mohawk look like it been broken off. <laughs> it's, it's fucked up. It is, and I told him, I said, I don't know why you keep getting these fucked up ass haircuts, but that's what he liked to do. He Did really... the Texas Roadhouse have a bunch of peanuts on the floor like the ones here? No, no they, they used to have it like that one before I moved in a, uh, from Atlanta the first time, but they don't, they don't have that. It was clean. COVID killed oh. all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's. I, I remember the last time I went. I'm like, if you got new shoes, you can't come in here. Yeah, <laughs> peanuts everywhere. Sandals. <laughs> yeah, but I think they 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 cleaned up all that. That shit had to carry germs. Oh yeah, like bar bar. Peanuts. It was disgusting. It was just fucking peanuts everywhere. As a kid, that was the best to go there. You'd go there. That was like my dad's favorite place. So we'd go there for special occasions, and we get to. Eat yeah, I peanuts and it. throw them on the floor. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's fancy eating in Plainfield. You know, <laughs> you had to go to Thirty Eighth Street to eat if it, Texas Roadhouse. Thirty <laughs> Eighth Street, Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that place was a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> and you said that was fancy eating. Oh, that was fancy. You back think in the it's day. fancy? It really. Maybe I'm just I'm maybe I'm I'm out of my element sometimes. Like when I took you to LA and y'all turn the TV down. I'm on I'm podcasting. I'm podcasting. <laughs> now here's what it is. I've always been at the same middle class white suburban standard of fancy. It ain't, it ain't much. And, and and you like slingshotted pat. We we cross sections like 2015. You're like this is fancy, and then there's t- 2019 hit, and you're, you're you're in LA and bathtubs that are the size of of pools, and hanging out with Helen Mirren. <laughs> now, now, now you take me. Now you take me into your world now, and I'm like, I don't belong here. <laughs> like that shower, too fancy. T- that shower he took in LA. He's like, this is the best shower I ever had in my life. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? My idea of a fancy hotel room is a Hampton Inn. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> that ain't never been my idea of no fancy hotel. I'm sorry. Uh, Rich Carlton or something higher. Rich Carlton ain't even fancy no more. I just don't belong in a place like that. I, you know, I, I like the my creature comforts we... like my mini fridge. Where did we stay at? What's the name of the hotel in LA I stay at all the time? Oh, was it like the... Don't tell people. They can yeah, show probably. Up. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> close to the. It's close to. It's off of a Sunset Strip. I mean, it's yeah, close to the. Oh, um, I love I love that place. I, it's beautiful. It's the high food's as fuck amazing. Too. Yeah, yeah, it's high as fuck. It's about six hundred a night. I know they want they want two hundred dollars a night, and if or what? Well, no, five hundred dollars a night in uh, gratuity sec- security fees. Yes, it's not gratuity <laughs> security. Yeah. I don't I don't have anything I don't have two thousand dollars. Say so, trust me, I'm gonna be on my best behavior in this bitch. 
Uh, Take my shoes off at the revolving door. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Can can I leave you my car keys as collateral? He said, take my shoes off at the revolving door. Downstairs. (laughs) Walks my room (laughs) barefooted. Just for you. It it is a nice place. Yeah. The, like Helen Mirren, you had a production meeting. I wasn't in yet, but apparently she was in there having a phone call and y'all kicked Who the fuck Helen, is Mirren. Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren's um really Very famous, famous actress. actress. <laughs> She's in the I don't know if you've seen the Harrison Ford Cowboy show. She's the older lady in it. Um What was she you, at? You would know her if you saw her. Yeah, let me see if I can grab a picture. Pull up a picture of it. Carrie I Washington. Met her. Uh, she was in the room with you, uh, and then Carrie Washington walked by in the lobby. This is Helen Mirren. What's she been in? The Queen, Shazam. Who's in now? 1923, yeah. So she was in there on the phone, and one of the production people was like, uh, they didn't recognize her either, and they were like, ma'am, you've got to gotta beat it. <laughs> <laughs> what was we at? We, we, we was on the premiere? Uh, no, that's just where rich people like Heron Millen, Heron Millen, <laughs> Helen Mirren stay, <laughs> Carrie Washington. And then there was another actor, some, somebody named Bruce. He's like a real famous guy that you knew his face, but you didn't know his name. I, I of course, walk up there to sightsee up at the top, take my, uh, my <laughs> plain field pictures of the Hollywood sign. I'm like, Oh, this is real fancy. He's just up there in the pool. And he looked at me like, what is this trash in Jim Shorts doing on, <laughs> at my hotel? <laughs> I wish I could remember his name. And I saw him in a TV show like three weeks later. I'm like, that's the guy. That's the guy that gave me the- <laughs> I, I love the hotel. Uh, I, I don't, I, you know what? Uh, the only person that shot me was Loretta Devine. So I was walking by and uh, she was at a because this is where they do all the premieres at. My premiere was there. Everybody do their premieres at this hotel. So as I'm walking by, she her husband said, There go Miss Pat. And I look and I was like, what the fuck is this lady name? And so I said, Jazz, little name. She said, This says Loretta Devine. I said, that's so is Loretta Devine. <laughs> Dion, the breakfast the next day was it was It's free too. It's free, but it's like bagels and lox and smoked fish and green drink. And I'm Green like, drink. And I was like, "Can I have some bacon?" And then I like, don't have bacon here. <laughs> like, where, where's Where the, poor people food at? Where's the little boxes of frosted flakes that I can steal? <laughs> no, they had they cereal in a container. I'm like, don't y'all know cereals get stale when you put them in a bowl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I was like, like what? What like rich yoga wives <laughs> like on Beverly Hills? Everybody uh, housewife. Yeah, I mean it's it, it was not I Indiana. Food. Like. Yeah, it was really nice. I, I couldn't believe it. I was I was just in shock. Can I give a shout out to Milwaukee? Thank y'all for coming out. All the shows were sold out. Oh my god, it was off the chain. It was so much fun. You know, I was supposed to go have my surgery. Still waiting to have my surgery. But I'm so glad I didn't cancel on Milwaukee. I just asked Lord to keep me alive so I can get this damn surgery and make sure I heal good and get back so I'm, I'm waiting on some tests to come back and then hopefully i can get the gall stones out my gall bladder how the fuck you go are they still bothering want... you a lot no uh not really one thing i pulled back on fried food that was fuck you up but sometimes i can turn my stomach different way nigga they be i feel like a little person <laughs> in me stab let me out bitch let me out so um <laughs> You tear your stomach like a fanny pack? What are you talking about? You had a garden gnome in there? <laughs> but, you know, it, it hadn't hurt in a while. But, you know, I still get a little pain. But it, when you have gallstones, it also make my left leg hurt a lot. Hmm. Yeah, it put, you know... It, Is it a shooting you know, pain? It's a shooting pain here and there. I wonder so, if it's like hitting a nerve in your back or something. It probably hitting some. I just want to get them out. I I mean, one day they hurt so bad. I said, Lord, get this bullshit out of me. So I can't imagine gallstones and hot flashes at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it because I'd be burning up and, and it's sticky. <laughs> Nigga. 
I was, it was, it been so hot. It was so cool in Milwaukee. You was like, how you niggas get this kind of weather? It was so nice and cool and breezy. I got back here. I went to go look for some granite for my house. I was sweating like I had been on a treadmill. I said, fuck it, I don't want no granite. I'm going back to <laughs> <laughs> It's too hot to shop for granite. <laughs> Y'all should open this bitch at night. It was, the granite man said, I just think it's too hot outside for you to concentrate. I said, I can't stand out there in that shit. He give me an he really give me water. I said, they'll be about to die. He gave you a what? <laughs> he treated water? you like you're at a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what was the first thing he gave you? Umbrella. Oh, I thought you said armoretto. I'm like, wait, <laughs> you should not be drinking in the heat. That's bad. That shit, dear, it was so fucking, it's so hot down here. My husband keep on talking, I put on a bra. I said, nigga, this is no bra, no wig weather. <laughs> you, I don't know how these bitches running around here with waist training on. You hoes are going to die. I'm telling you, by the time I take a bath at night, my pussy smell like he'd been on a mare, on a, on a, been running for two days. <laughs> Pussy look like Forrest Gump. <laughs> One day I'm Atlanta tired. I go take a bath now. <laughs> One day Atlanta pussy's two Indiana Day pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it is, pussy math. <laughs> it is so hot down here. I'm telling you, I've been shaving. Nigga, I mean, then, then like my little chin hair been growing all out the ordinary. <laughs> like, you're like a tomato plant growing in the heat. <laughs> I'm uh, telling you, this shit is awful. I mean, nigga, just awful. I saw a girl in Chicago this weekend. <laughs> this bitch had the thickest mustache I ever seen in my life. That shit connected to her fucking baby edges. That shit was ridiculous. How does nobody oh, tell her? <laughs> she knew. She thought it was cute. That shit was terrible. Oh, she did you make fun of her for it? No, I didn't make fun of her. I mean, you know, she just passed by, but I was like, I know she don't think that's cute. Just <laughs> it was it was a full connection to her mustache with her baby hairs. You know the was little she a stud? Mm -mm. She would have been pretty had she not had that fucking mustache. She was probably like 25, 26. Fat ass though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, that, you know what's yeah, lurking she, inside those traps? <laughs> a ferret. <laughs> she was, you get she her in doggy spray. Fuck. You look down. <laughs> no, nope. might as well be Mike Tyson down there. <laughs> I <Damn. laughs> That rat, that that mustache trail goes all the way back down around her neck, through her back, down into her crack. Yeah, right back loops up back around on her happy trail. <laughs> Damn, you don't slept with some weird bitches, ain't you? <laughs> she had a ferret in her booty. <laughs> you fuck bitches with ferret in their booty? She's got like a, a park trail map all over her body. I bet. So it just the weather down here is just it's fucking so hot. It was really <laughs> hot last year or last week. The, the, today the been, earth you... is on fire. And then, it, I, it is I, 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 all of that you know we had the whole lock trump thing up oh my god oh. oh that's right i gotta ask you i've been dying to ask you did you go to that lockup because no. e everybody on cnn kept saying oh this they kept talking about this jail and the mayor of that's Atlanta what I did, was on. What i did my time at. i did time there Okay, the, everybody talked about how weird it smelled, how bad it smelled, and how, like, no... That jail is old. When I was there, it was new. Okay, so the mayor of Atlanta said, it's not pleasant. <laughs> she said it's the worst-smelling jail in America. Or something like that. I was like, I gotta ask Pat if she went to that jail. So what's it like went, inside there, was, there? I think that was... Did he go to Fulton County or Rice Street? Fulton County. I, Fulton County, that's downtown. Uh, yeah. That's old, too. It was new probably 20 years ago. Yeah, it's just an old ass jail, and they really, they really locked his ass up and let him make bun. Did you, did you, uh, have it like it was traffic crazy when they flew in, or you? Pretty oh far yeah, they cleared the highways. They, they said they cleared the highways. Nobody was on the expressway but him. But he yeah. is, a, you know, he is the ex president, so you know. Yeah. I they said he, he had 40, 40 car motorcade. Wow. For when he went to jail. <laughs> I don't know a motherfucker who went to jail and bonded out that quick. I've had people at the bonding company trying to make the bond while I was on my way to jail, and I still spent eight hours in jail. 
Well, they want to you know, pretend, oh, we're treating him like a regular person. Let's give him a mug shot right down his weight and height. Uh, but come on. That and nigga would lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, all right. Aaron Rodgers and Lamar Jackson are 6'3", 215. Donald Trump said he was 6'3", 215. <laughs> He might have been a combination of them numbers, but not in that <laughs> order. <laughs> I just wish our presidents could be as honest about their weight as Nikea is on this podcast. <laughs> 360. Oh, not, I mean, well, Trump said he was 215 pounds? Yes. yes. <laughs> Trump, your wig weighed 215 pounds. <laughs> I was hoping they took his, uh, his uh, toupee off. <laughs> he say that's his real hair. Oh, he oh, says yeah. Oh yeah, I was that thin and shit ain't that that. Why might would be, you I, buy a wig that bad? Well, they sold it to his scale. <laughs> he got it sold in. <laughs> yeah, he got plugs. I mean, and he was not smiling. Everybody else smile. That load under dirt. They kept that one black man in jail. He still ain't got no bond. He's still in that shitty ass jail. He ain't right. leaving neither. What the fuck did he do? Oh, wait, let me look this up. I haven't I haven't seen that. He the He's only one, one the, that didn't get no bond. He was one of the fake electors, I think. I think he was in charge of the plot in Georgia. That's the Cheeseboro guy that basically... Because um, I've been seeing tweets about that black dude sitting in jail. And I'm like, he should have known better. He was the only nigga getting in trouble. You got to be in trouble with other niggas if you want special treatment. So it's like being the black guy in a horror movie. Yeah, <laughs> of course they gonna let everybody else out first. You know they pissed. Uh, he Trump pissed old boy out, old girl out, cause she he went and hired the same lawyer that got off Ghana, got off the rapper Ghana with the whole. If they were smart, thing. they would be telling everything, anything they need to tell to get this nigga, because without collateral, them niggas ain't getting off. Nigga, Harrison I would be Floyd. telling on Trump wife out there. Yeah, he's still in jail. Yeah. Harrison Floyd, yeah. Um Floyd is oh. what what is he what is he locked up for? Here, let me pull it back up. Cheers. Whoops. They didn't even keep they didn't even keep the girl who worked with R. Kelly. Oh what? yeah, his he had a, a campaign manager or some person who was like the press person for Kanye and um so he doesn't have a hearing set yet Floyd a Maryland resident is leader of the organization Black Voices for Trump according to court filing Floyd arranged a meeting between Fulton County election worker Ruby Freeman and Trevian Cuddy a former publicist to mus musicians R Kelly and Kanye West yeah, so he was the one that set up the meeting. And that poor woman got harassed by all them people. Mm -hmm. so Ain't that you... part of the reason why I went to a RICO case because of that? Yeah, I haven't looked into it enough. So uh, as best as I understand it, the reason they do RICO is because he hasn't ever, he doesn't put his fingerprints on anything. He He's like a mob boss, right? So they use RICO cases to start folding up the chain more and more people. So like three of these fake electors have already flipped. Mark Meadows is cooperating as former chief of staff. And Damn. he know where yeah. all the bodies is at. Yeah. So he's he's trying to get it moved to federal court because if it's in federal court, they can all get pardons. If they're convicted in a federal court, then the next Republican president can pardon all of them. If it's in Georgia... Not even the governor can pardon you in Georgia. It's like this panel. So, and you have to show contrition to get your pardon, which he will never do. Oh, so, so, so wait a minute. If so, who trying to get it federally? Trump. Mark Meadows, the former chief of staff, is trying to get it moved. Trump has gotten a couple good lawyers, including one of them that's been critical. But basically, the reason it's Rico is it, it's a conspiracy uh, of three different, like, one was hacking a voting machine. One was harassing um, the poll worker. And also uh, harassing old boy who who Trump called, who the yeah. perfect the perfect, the perfect conversation, phone call. <laughs> phone call. And I'm so you know that man was a Republican. I'm just so glad he did what you're supposed yeah. to do. 
no matter which party you was on. He said, the numbers ain't there. He said, I yeah. just need 13. Kemp, too. I think Kemp, <laughs> Raffensperger. Kemp didn't, fold, Kemp. Kemp didn't yeah. fold for Trump at all. Mm -mm. He didn't fold. And, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a Democrat. Uh, you know, I kind of think Kemp stole the office. But um, he didn't fold for Trump. Yeah. At all. He was like, I'm standing, I'm, I'm going to do what the law say do. So yeah, RICO basically means they get charged as one big group of people in this conspiracy instead of individually. Um, and they're trying to break it out so it'll be 19 different different cases, which means it could go on forever. They just set his date for March 2024. That's for the federal case. The the Georgia that case, for the, the, uh, that's that for the Jack Smith, the two Jack Smiths. Okay. Uh, the Georgia one should be in October. So they're they're trying to get all this stuff done before the election, so we know if he's in jail or not before he gets reelected. I I think it would be fucking hilarious if that nigga won in jail. That shit would be so <laughs> funny. Think about it like I'm the furthest thing from a Trump fan, but like if you think about American lives, who comes close in the history of America to having a crazier life than this guy? Like maybe Arnold comes close. I was gonna say Arnold Schwarzenegger is the only person I could think of who've had a, a life story so crazy. Like just one instance <clears throat> is like the guy has sex with a porn star and then gets impeached because he accidentally won the presidential election. Like that was his <laughs> third. That was a Thursday for Trump. <laughs> like he's involved in so much crazy stuff. It just and people. Did you see the chart that it was like? 71% would believe Trump and then they trust their family 69% and then a religious leader and then conservative media. Mm -hmm. They would trust their, their, they'd trust those Donald people, Trump. Those people are crazy. It's crazy. It's a cult, man. It's a, it's a yeah. fucking Trump cult is what I it mean, is. And I guess the boy who walked into Jacksonville and shot them three black people. But you know what was crazy? He was on the campus of the black university there in Jacksonville. And the campus police saw him putting on a bulletproof vest and ran him off. I don't know why they didn't hold him. Did it, yeah. And he I ended up that. realizing he couldn't shoot up the school and went over to the uh went over to the um the what you call dollar it? dollar dollar uh, general and shot yeah. those three black people and shot himself. That's crazy. And then some black lady pulled up in a car. He shot her like eleven times. We're going to get enough uh, guns in this country one day. One day. There's always thoughts and prayers. That's all they always ever thoughts and prayers. You know, there's four or five hundred million guns at this point. If you tried to confiscate all those, it's you'd have more deaths than you don't need to yeah. confiscate them. You just need to raise the prices on bullets. Raise the prices on bullets. That's worked. <laughs> That's actually what Obama did. Like he had all the federal agencies buying up all the ammunition. So like the IRS has like this crazy amount of ammunition in its basement because when he was president, he, he was just trying to restrict supply. I mean, it makes sense. If you can't take the guns, make what the guns shoot too expensive to be wasting it. I mean, next thing you know, they're going to be running around throwing empty guns at niggas' heads. <laughs> 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 Nikea, Nikea keeps texting us that he's a Trump supporter. Is he really a Trump supporter, or is he is he kidding? Nikea, oh, Nikea don't even vote. I take him to the place and, and write down who to vote for. <laughs> Miss Pat illegally votes for. Bonnie's <laughs> <laughs> gonna hit her you. <laughs> I don't need you indicted too. Half of the time, half of the time, Nikea don't even know it's an election. I'm like Nikea, you vote that, huh? Who running? He don't know what what they stand for. He don't know shit. He's a dummy. Yeah, he's a Trump supporter. If if he liked McDonald's as much as Donald Trump, <laughs> so he's a fucking Trump supporter. You fat back wearing motherfucker nigga got titties in the bag. Is is <laughs> he supports Trump's fast food platform? <laughs> yeah, he sure do. Like he has so much grease in his body, it's protruding out of his nose on top. I said, Nakia, you have enough grease coming out of your nose to fry chicken. <laughs> you can take that shit off your nose and grease your scab and make your mohawk go in the front. 
I see McDonald's got butter corn now. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> Why? So select McDonald's have butter corn. Make a fucking good hamburger first. <laughs> well, Chick Fil A um has uh okra fried okra. Really? It is so fucking good. I had to stay away from it. Oh, that shit's so fucking good. I just be like, give me two large fries, okra, fake ass Christian, and drive off. <laughs> that shit's so good. I don't I'm think we you. have it up here. I haven't seen no. it. It is so yeah. fucking good. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, I know it's about that time for me to be in the bed. A bitch is old. Yeah, I'll tell you what, my bra go off. Once my bra come off, it is over. You I people. think my bra is connected to my sleep apnea thing that could make you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> your bra is connected to your sleep your mask. apnea. <laughs> Once I take my bra off, I might die by sleep. Uh, if I had 40 pounds on my chest, I wouldn't be able to breathe either. Oh. Yeah, I'm still snowing on podcast. Well, we, we're we're at we're at time if you wanna Yeah, you over there snowing. I thought that was the dogs in here. <laughs> Them dogs so fucking big. Let me tell you about my dog. So they was in uh we keep them in the house and so we move, right? And so get cold. The little one who ain't uncertain. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him. He whined. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? <laughs> so Gary said, shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. I don't know why he called dog nigga. <laughs> that motherfucking dog kicked that cage door open and walked in there and said, who you call the nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Said, Has Gary on been reading to your dog? <laughs> yeah, I said, how the fuck you get out of that cat? That nigga just kicked that cat. I said, this nigga crazy. <laughs> that but I'm telling you, that motherfucker like to jump up on you. That he's standing about seven feet that straight up. I oh said, you gosh. don't get your motherfucking ass down <laughs> off me with your dick hanging out because you ain't about to fuck me. <laughs> Them dog, uh, I'm telling you, they. Um, they they all on special need because Zeus won't stop sucking his dick. I tell y'all, I was like, Zeus, you cannot be sucking your dick like this. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to put him on some underwear. <laughs> so he won't uh-huh. stop sucking his dick. But Cone, that nigga kicked that door in yesterday. I said, oh, I think y'all better stop playing with him. He is not the one to be played with. I saw that nigga eat a bone and crunch a big ass steak bone and just crushed it on one bite. Oh my gosh. But he loved to eat ice. He loved ice. Ice is not good for Donald. <laughs> it isn't? Why not? It's just water. No, they can't regulate their temperatures the way we can. So ice fucks them up. You shouldn't feed your dogs. Ice is bad for them. <laughs> this sounds like deep state government conspiracies to me. Like the government ancestors. give a fuck about your dogs. Shoot it. That's the first chance they get. Google and see is ice bad for your dog. Right. Y'all tell me if ice, huh? Y'all tell me if ice is bad for your dog. Please hit us up in my DM. Cause I my dog love ice. And when they go over there to the other dog house, I tell my husband to make them ice cold water, put the ice in the bucket with the water so they can be drinking cold water. All right, so this is from the UK, which you know I don't know about their science. And they eating use... ice called my dogs to overeat for years. Numerous rumors have been circulating on social media that giving ice to a dog can trick their bodies into actually warming up, increasing the risk of heart heart stro- heat stroke. Heat stroke, yeah. This is not true and has been debunked. Whatever debunked by vets. <laughs> giving ice cube, cold water, a frozen treat is a useful way. Of helping dogs stay cool on hot day. Dion, fuck off. You don't even got no dog. <laughs> I'm gonna get my dog some popsicles. <laughs> you gonna be cleaning up popsicle shit too. Yeah. Red 40 oh. coming out their ass thinking it's blood. <laughs> my dogs are spoiled. Uh, the girl, but the girl won't cooperate. Like, I be trying to put on a tutu and shit. She bite that shit off her. I said, you don't, know. <laughs> she don't want to sell no pussy. <laughs> you should have gotten a golden doodle. <laughs> she won't let me dress her up. <laughs> I'm like, she, but you the girl. Let me dress you up. Bitch. She don't want to look like a thought in the land. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
<laughs> no, her brother stuck a dick on himself. <laughs> <laughs> She she would not let me dress her up. I be trying to put on a little cute. She be like, bitch, go on somewhere with that bullshit. Next thing I know that bitch done took it off her nigga. Now she appealing. Done snagged the hole in it. I'm telling them <laughs> she won't let me dress her up. He got to my thank God. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. I got my kitchen in. Cool. All right. I, I was going to ask how the house is coming, what you've been uh, doing with your free time. So, it's... I'm closing it up and it, it's it's getting rough. The only so, fuck is you looking at? I'm closing was, it up and it's um I got I got the uh, hardwood floors down. It's all painted. I got the kitchen cabinets in. I got the pantry cabinets in. The butler kitchen, whatever you want to call it. And I also got um the laundry room in. So next go round, I get the vanities and stuff like that in. But it's so hard. Like let me tell you what my husband did. I said, for you. I said, put this light in the for you. Well, when you first walk in the house, you know, it's a little little area right there. But I'm talking about like the grand for you, the hang down by the stair. This motherfucker put a big ass chandelier that I paid a lot of money for, and they cut the cords on it so I can't reuse it. I had to buy another one of those chandeliers. No. Because he put it at the fucking front door. <laughs> Oh, I'm so mad at him. I was like, I cannot believe you did this to my motherfucking chandelier. I, oh. so, so there's two foyers. One's bigger, and that's where it's supposed to go, and one's smaller, and that's where you put it? I, I, I just thought I thought I only had one, but according to him, I got two foyers. <laughs> and I wanted to knock his motherfucking head off. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it so we can show it to the people. I cannot, yeah, believe, I cannot believe that he did this dumb shit. Oh, here it is, right here. Here, let's I take a quick break, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at it on YouTube right after this. You see it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. But that's could... right. Wait, it's too big. Yeah, could I hit my head on it if I were like seven feet tall walking in the front? Though? If you were seven or eight feet, you probably could. Yeah, I nobody see why wants you... to open. Yeah, today. yeah, you're not supposed to put that there. <laughs> no. <laughs> If you look I don't know at... shit about decorations, but I know that ain't where that goes. <laughs> so this is the idea that I got from this lady. I saw it at her house. That's where it's supposed to be. At. <laughs> oh, he hung it right at the door. He hung it at the door. Because the I point could... of a chandelier is that it like that shit look like has... a ceiling lamp, <laughs> right? That shit is not a chandelier no more. <laughs> the length of the cord and chain, like that's you know, kind of what makes a fancy it ass tap light now. <laughs> It's right in front of the door. <laughs> you could hit your head on that. That's I couldn't funny. believe it. I was like, oh my fucking God. Oh my fucking God. I cannot believe you fucked up my chandelier like that. So what are you gonna do when if what are you gonna do when you're done with the house? Because it's like your favorite thing, you know, you that's your favorite thing to do. Like you I have another house I just purchased about last year and I'll still I tore it down. Okay. So I'm gonna rebuild it. Um, I want to start something where I go in. I want an HGTV show. I don't know why the fuck they don't give me an HGTV show. Uh, I'll give you uh, a couple of reasons. <laughs> why? The FCC will be on their ass. I will curse. I don't know that yeah. you can say the N-word on HGTV. <laughs> uh, I won't say it. What you did to that lady in the cabin, they ain't giving you no fucking... <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Kaylee, Kaylee quote you yourself nah, right out that of that bitch with the bowls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why BET wouldn't pick up like an HGTV type show because that'd be f so fun if you did one. Yeah, hopefully, you know, we're going to see. But um, I I'm going to find other people houses to do. I'm do. I'm in the middle of my nephew house right now that I'm closing out his kitchen that I did his whole house because he bought a flip. That was you should a do a YouTube show. You know, that's what I'm going to start doing. With that mm -hmm. house in Austell, they can only work when I can film. Mm. Yeah. Look, do it yourself. I, could you see, because Hollywood's a pain in the butt <laughs> and kind of annoying. Let's say you do this for like 10 more years. You make all the fuck you money you want and you just walk away. You just go, I'm I like, uh, what's uh, Gene Hackman? Gene Hackman's still alive. He hasn't done a movie in like 35 years since Welcome to Mooseport. And he just sits on his house, on his ranch, does whatever he wants. Could you like 
Say I'm going to walk away from who show Gene business. Hackman, the, uh, who the played actor. with? Who played? Played with? He was the. He was in Crimson Tide. He was the Hoosiers. boat captain against uh, Denzel Washington. Birdcage. He was the see. old senator. Yeah, let me find a picture. But would you would you just say, look, I'm done with Hollywood. I'm done with entertainment. I'm just going to go do contracting full time. G- Gene Ackman is the best non-racist racist actor of all time. <laughs> he is my every, favorite actor. Every time he was in a racist movie. <laughs> Mississippi Burning is a great movie. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that nigga, he never but, said nigga in Crimson Tide, but he said nigga the whole movie. <laughs> here he is. He's just, you know, he's 93 living in Santa Fe, Mexico, just, you know, hanging out, cleaning out his truck, getting some, you know. Damn, he's 93? He's 93. There he's, he's having some Wendy's. <laughs> some tabloid said, you know what? We need to find Gene Hackman. Go down there and find the man. Him and Dustin Hoffman need to do a movie together before they get out of here. It, uh, he's the best. He, he he hates Hollywood. He said, you know what? I'm out. I'm not dealing with this. I got enough money. I'm going to go do what I want. Could you ever see yourself TV. just saying like, I don't want to do TV or, or stand up. I'm just going to go build houses. I could see myself saying that. Yeah. Because it's so relaxing. Like, you know, like I, I work at a radio station in the morning. Don't get me wrong. I like doing radio. But I don't like leaving my house at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> it ruins your life. I don't you know, know how you do it. You know, and I know I'm out of there at 10, but, you know, by that time, I that's it just like, you know. At least I, it's I mean, warm down there. You had to do that shit here up in India in the wintertime be the worst. Yeah, but, you know, I, I just want to be able to do what I want to do. So I'm hoping, you know, I can get enough money and do what I want to do. Yeah, I like, I, I really like I like remodeling. Like, um, I was at the Granite Place today, and and that's what I want to do. I, I don't, you know, I don't want to physically do anything. But I was, I met this, I met the designer. Want to be today. a slave master? <laughs> no, I mean, I want to hire people like I did for my house. So I was talking to this lady at the Granite Place. She was like, "Oh, you got an interior designer?" I said, "No, I'm doing everything myself." And then she said, "Well, you should call this lady." And I called her, you know, just to see, you know, what, what she was talking about. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. See what she was talking about. And yeah. I be damned. Well, I got you, y'all. Right? I be right. damned if we, we got her talking. And she's like, you did all of this? I was like, yeah. She was like, wait a minute. You designed that kitchen? I said, yeah, off of TikTok, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because if you look at the thread, I had custom everything in the house. And if you look at the thread between me and the captain, man, I'm like, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that, I want this. And, and so he brought the kitchen. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I got two, tra- four trash cans in my kitchen. Because <laughs> you just like the trash cans and you bought them? <laughs> well, you pull it out as two and then you pull it out as two. I got two uh, beverage center. Uh, uh, I have two, I have two, and if you do the kitchen at the pantry, I got three refrigerators. Uh, but it's this little neat thing up on the cabinets where everybody hates me. You got me. three refrigerators in the same kitchen? She's got like 20 people living in her house. That's me. That's <laughs> like my my in-laws, my now, mother-in-laws, my mother-in-laws color- downstairs, they have to have three refrigerators because they have 15 people that live in the well, house. Well, it's one, two, three. I probably got five refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> She's Tell me Nike. two of them are just for water. <laughs> Nikea has to have one, and he just visits. <laughs> no, I have a butler pantry or whatever you want to call it, you know, the extra kitchen. But <laughs> I didn't realize I had three dishwashers in the kitchen. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> That's when you know you're rich. You've lost no, a dishwasher. No. So you I discover said, well, a dishwasher this? in the house you're building. That's rich. <laughs> no, I said, what is this? She said, dish. I said, what the fuck? I need three dishwashers in the kitchen when I already got one in the pantry. So I got two in the kitchen and one in the pantry. And I'm like, the fuck? Who, who the fuck sold me four dishwashers? <laughs> <laughs> It's a smart man who saw you coming. So, <laughs> Someone driving going, a Bentley today. Now, now that we're going back through the list of the shit I bought right before COVID hit. <laughs> so I bought this big ass grill. And I said, it ain't going to fit on the porch. The house is built. It ain't going to fit on the porch. Oh, no. 
You gotta be at the dog's house. <laughs> I'm gonna put it at the pool house, but I'm like, what the fuck did I buy? I mean, <laughs> I mean, she was like, Well, you spent a lot of money on the outdoor kitchen. I'm like, I don't need this shit. Can I get my money back? <laughs> like, I didn't know I had three dishwashers in the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Did you, you didn't had you put them in or did you just have three dishwashers and then you're no, like, where am I going to put them? On, now my, my architect get a little crazy sometimes. Like okay. she put all of these big ass expensive windows in my house. And I, I like dark. So <laughs> <laughs> I like dark. Be <laughs> some so many sunlight. Bitch, I don't like sunlight. You and Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> so I got I, so when I went through the plan, so when he brought the kitchen, I said, well, what's this? I said, dishwasher. Well, what's this? I said, what the fuck? I don't, I called this bitch. I said, how many dishwashers did I buy? She's like, three. I said, bitch, take a dishwasher off. <laughs> <laughs> then she sold me garbage disposal. I'm like, I'm on a septic tank. I'm in a fucking country. I can't have no goddamn garbage disposal. Oh, that's We got to pick our shit out the same. Yeah, it's a plumber <laughs> problem. So it's like, now I'm getting all these refunds because I didn't know what the fuck I would buy. She didn't make you a compost? What's that mean? So instead of a garbage disposal, you compost it. You yeah. So you can grow like your tomatoes and and all no, your Nick, plants no, and no, stuff. No, no. I mean, you got three <laughs> dishwashers. You might as well get a compost. Not fucking it's with a, compost. It's a, Come it's on, it's a Dion. machine. You don't really have to do much work. It's a machine you can. Back buy. in the nineties, we had a trash <laughs> compactor. It was kind of a bougie house in Hendricks County, and like having a trash compactor was like that's kind of what it is. Yeah. Except it makes trash fertilizer trash for you. Uh, trash compact is nice. Yeah. It had an intercom system in it and an in-home vacuum. You know, oh, had the, a Kirby? Yeah, it, it had like... Had a Kirby. You plug <laughs> the That, that hose is the in. best fucking... Um, to this day, that is the best fucking vacuum cleaner you can ever buy. The Kirby? The, the Kirby. It's nothing, it's nothing like sucking up. These little shitty ass vacuum right here. Kirby will suck the skin off your fucking face. The Dyson is the biggest. <laughs> I, have you had a Dyson? Yes, but it's some bullshit. I got one in a yeah. closet somewhere right now. Right Not now, good. it's some bullshit. That motherfucking Kirby, nigga, with them with them truck wheels on it. <laughs> oh, nigga, truck wheels, <laughs> nigga. They, they they still around too. Kirby versus Shark. Let's find that the nigga, them Kirby sharks system. are bullshit. That, yeah, it is. that Kirby, that motherfucker ain't no joke. I'm gonna Look. tell you right now. That mo- I I had one. Mm. The home cleaning system, yeah. Twenty five hundred dollars though. It's worth it for the system. Hmm. That motherfucking Kirby, when I tell you, it will pull. That's what they. That's what they should vacuum Trump hell with. <laughs> <laughs> it, that that's a good ass but but so the kitchen is in i'm we're gonna post some stuff about it and uh the laundry room uh now i'm waiting next week the closet's gonna come my vanity is gonna come and other stuff like that i'm telling so, you you should get a compost i have to ask about a compost but that's about it. So it's it's coming along great. You can just... scrape all your trash in there, and it'll turn it into fertilizer. You can put it outside to grow your tomatoes and all your other. Because you said you're building a garden, right? Uh, no, you got me fucked up. <laughs> Did she say she was building a <laughs> no, garden? I said Garrett might build a garden. I'm not the only nigga. I don't got time to plant nothing. <laughs> Plant your ass on the sofa. <laughs> That's it. Plant yeah. my ass in this water because my vagina burning up. I have I have a garden <laughs> in the back. I have I love it. It's my favorite thing. You you'd enjoy it. It's a great way to just like what get you outside. Got back there? Tomatoes, peppers of different kinds, wildflowers, sunflowers, all kinds of herbs, watermelon, which never make it because of the squirrels. What happened? So, the squirrels just eat it. They eat the tomatoes. They eat the strawberries. But it's fun. You go out there. You, you, I get. I'm like, I can't sit in this office anymore. So I go out there and water and just listen to my podcast for an hour and ignore my family. Why it's don't great. you put a fist around? Uh, I mean, it's not too. Uh, you, squirrels are so tricky. 
you know you can't really like fence off the the watermelon i i didn't How mean to grow they watermelon. Eat a watermelon they go up and they just start gnawing on it they know it's sweet that's what you need put them cats to work you got three cats nigga I know. Some out there come on get outside Teach teach one of them squirrels a lesson. So they the bite the all you wild and run off? Yep. We got rabbits, rats. It's the middle of the city, so we don't have deer. <laughs> There's no deer eating my <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, my husband. I'm thinking about building those boxes so he can grow shit in. But nigga, I'm going I'm to put a fence around my shit. Yeah. And I'm going to put a spotlight and say... And the thing gonna say, you're being watched, bitch ass squirrel. <laughs> the nigga's gonna be taking selfies. In your car. Well, at the hardware store, we used, to, we used to sell deer pee. You could buy deer piss to keep all the geese and all the rabbits and everything away from your garden and a spray bottle. Well, I got some real deer back there. The whole little mm-hmm. family be coming out of the bush and be like, what's up, nigga? Y'all ain't done yet? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nah, we ain't done yet, bitch. When do you think you'll be moving into this place? I'm hoping in October. I'm I'm okay. keeping my faith. If I can get this motherfucker to put it in my bathroom floor, October. That's not too far away. Nope. <laughs> Mm-mm. They running the electrical in the ground now. So they're running the electrical. They're running the um the plumbing is already on. I'm wait till I get everything to get the plumber there because he kind of crazy. So I don't want him to come and go. Whatever happened with your lawsuit with the clubfoot man? Um, I sued him, and they gave they, the judge made him give me all my shit back. But didn't he counter sue you? No, yeah, he went and put a lien on my house, and then I went and took it off, and then now we arguing. He's trying to sue me again. <laughs> what, a, what a turd! <laughs> yeah, he's a he an asshole. Well, we should probably wrap up here. Yeah, I was my camera went off. I'm trying to see why. Them deer heard you talking about him. They n- nibbled through your. Your uh wires. Oh, they, so... they was like, why you put that chandelier right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think it's hot where you're at? You're going to Phoenix? Oh God, Phoenix, you up this week. And I got my panty liner and I will be wigless and titteless when I get there. <laughs> I will be there. Uh is it September first? I think this date is wrong on here. Let me, Let me look. It. Uh yeah. Are y'all still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm just uh, trying to make the sure the screen froze. So, oh, I will be there in September. What the fuck happened to the stream? Hold on, I don't know what happened. There we go. Where'd it go? There it is. Weird. That's so weird. All right, let me mark that. Okay, you are going to be in Phoenix. Yep. Stand, stand up live, September one through the third. Oh my God, it's going to be so goddamn hot. I got to get me some talcum powder for my titties. After that, your girl done made it to a start. September the 8th, I will be in Louisville, Kentucky. It's sold out. Uh, September the 9th, me and Dion and Vincent will be in Indianapolis um, at uh, Cl- what is it, Clouds? Clues. Clues Memorial Clues Hall. Clues Memorial Hall. Uh, September the 16th, I will be at uh, the theater at Ace in Los Angeles. All you got to do is go to misspackcomedy.com because your girl that made it tour has started. I will be in theaters throughout the rest of the year. So just go to misspackcomedy.com. Get your tickets now. We added an extra show in Atlanta. We added an extra show. Uh, I think it was uh, DC. We added an extra show. So I'm excited. I cannot wait to get there. And we're going to have a good time, right? Guess guess the temperature in Phoenix today. What is it? 115. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nigga, it's, please. It, it'll be nice and cool in 97 when you're there, though. 97 is cool? That's compared, compared to 115, to a, yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> can, you know, can you imagine somebody trying to walk barefooted in Phoenix? Oh, it's... I feel for anybody who's... Cooking you know, your feet, experiencing homelessness. Like, come on, they got a lot of homeless people in Phoenix, too. They moved them out of the city when they had like Super Bowl and stuff. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them down there. That happened here. They, the, the city 
took all the homeless people in 2012, put them on a bus, and took them to Chicago. <laughs> just dropped them off. Can't have that during the Super Bowl. Did they make their way back here? Uh, some of them did, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we got nice like, homeless people here, though. We do, by and large. They, they say, a, please give me your change. They had a tent <laughs> city. They elected a mayor. They're good citizens. They elected their own mayor for the homeless? <laughs> yeah, there was a, a homeless mayor at one point about four years ago. Then the city said, we can't have that and cleared them out. Oh, wow. Well, with that said, make sure you tune in. You you go to misspackcomedy.com. Stay tuned for the new show I got coming out because it'll be out in a few months. I can't wait till we talk about it. We should be able to talk about it by the time by our next podcast, I hope. Ooh, sweet. Ah, I can't wait. 